I think we show signs that we're improving. A little bit of a view of what we could be. But there are obviously some areas of our game that we all need to continue to keep working on. I thought we had moments where we may create. I think, I mean, uh, since we have a second here. 21 for the game. 21 for the game, I thought that was good. Uh, we had some moments where I thought we flew around defensively and got some deflections. We had um, eight what we call kill stops. Now, most of us in the first half, I think we got what, six to uh, Second half, that is three stops in a row. And we were, we always shoot for eight. And we got eight. But I thought we had opportunities to get some more. We must have had 15 times when we stopped it twice in a row and couldn't get the third. But that's progress that we make. Effort is good. Uh, I, was, I was exceptionally pre uh, uh, impressed with the fact that we moved the ball, made the extra pass, tried to create for each other. That's why we were able to shoot such a good high percentage from the perimeter. Yeah, and because we we getting those kind of shots, the uncontested shots that in rhythm, that I think that we're taking a hit. Uh, the quality of our depth, I think, obviously, was important tonight. We got a lot of our young guys from experience to see what they're capable of doing. I thought they responded positively. Uh, but uh, we still have a, a lot of growth to do this. The challenge that we have is trying to develop the chemistry with playing a lot of people. We got to know about each other. We got to have a feel for one another. And, and, and night, this afternoon, I thought we showed some signs of recognizing. How did you like Taylor setting a tone with his length and poking the ball away and being assertive at creating turnovers? Well, this is uh, somewhat challenging for him to be out there perimeter, I mean, defending on the perimeter as much uh, as, as he has to in order to assist him. But I thought tonight, you know, he's active with his hands. He didn't draw a whole lot of foul. Uh, and just his length and his long arms shuts down passing lanes. Uh, at least this uh, alters passes and shots. And that's one of the things that I'm hoping that we can utilize this year because we do have a lot of length and a lot of guys with long arms that we can shut down passing lanes and get some deflection and steals. I think you saw that we can get out in transition and, and, and create some offense for ourselves from our, our, our deflections and our steals. What did you like from Daquan tonight, freshman what, getting what, settled? What, what, Daquan has a unique skill about him. He's unbelievably quick and fast. But he has, his, his motor is always running. And so he's going to make something happen. Not always good. <laughs> but for the most part, he understands our system. He understands exactly what we're doing defensively. He picks up things real fast. And I think you are seeing a little tip of the iceberg. I think you see what he's capable of doing. I think the combination of him and, and Boston at the point guard, I think, gives us two different kind of players, but both of them, both of them can be effective. You mentioned about uh, wanting the players to get to know each other. Excuse me? You mentioned about the players um, having to get to know each other because they're dad. Was that play a part of why you want to switch, and they switch things up, um, having um, Malik play in the second half? And um, I just. Well, we play a lot of people. It's important that we play different combinations, have different groups on the floor so we can learn how to play to each other. Um, we, um, I, I think we showed that. Now, we're not there, but I think we showing a willingness, you know, to understand this is the way we have to play with this team in our system in order for us to be successful. Being able to sustain our energy for long periods of time because of the quality of our depth is important in the way we like to play. I mean, it's done well for us. Now, I think you guys see that I think we've improved our talent pool. Now, we got to get back to doing what I think is very difficult to have guys not taking any possessions all week. And, and, and what I was really impressed with, they get bought into letting us know when they're tired and when we can get the guys in so they can sustain that all our effort all the time. Coach, does this performance make you confident going into the first regular season? Well, you know, this is a glorified practice. You know, we did a lot of experiment on that. You know, we got to fine tune some things in order for us to get ready for the season. That we're not even close to being what we'd like to be. I mean, there were a lot of times when the ball was on one side of the floor and our other three defensive guys were all out the lane on the weak side. You know, that's just something that we got to correct because 
at the, the level of play that we're going against every year, we, we got to we gotta have a team defensive concept where we all protect the pressure that we put on the ball.